Sri, working as professor in the Department of Chemistry, School of Engineering, Diamond Sagar University, Bangalore, India, and having teaching and research experience of 26 years. His research in the field of analytical and environmental chemistry, nanotechnology, water technology, phytochemistry, sensors, environmental biotechnology, pharmacocrystallization, bioanalytical chemistry includes the studies on the in interaction of biomolecules with endocrine disruptors, neurotoxicants like pesticides, PAHS, phytochemicals and drugs and its characterization and proteins drug crystallization with toxic etc. I have also had considerable experience in the research field of 3D docting of protein with ligands for selected endocrine disruptors, neurotoxicants, drugs, phytochemicals, etc. using autodoc, gold, and etc. He has research publications of 25, attended conferences 15, and has also published books and has a two chapter contribution of Google Scholar Citation 7 to 8, H index 10, and has received many national and international awards to travel abroad for research and teaching. The government funded research projects such as the AICTE IKS research project, 17 lakhs for two years, ongoing. UGC DAE project, 45,000 per year, ongoing. VGST project, 20 lakhs completed. UGC project, 45 lakhs completed. Uh, the consultancy projects total amount funded was 4,34,851 from the RBI, DSU, BRA, QUA and CHE MS Hyderabad. Sir, on behalf of the uh, management, principal, HOD staff and students, we welcome you on welcome you to the workshop, sir. Sir, uh, the forum is open to you. Sir. Uh, thank you so much uh, for the nice introduction. I would like to first, uh, I would like to thank uh, all the uh, organizer uh, for the opportunity given to me. Today, I'm going to, uh, let me share my uh, slide PPT. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, oh, uh, good morning to all of uh, all the students who are participating in this conference. I'm so happy to be interact with you all. So today I'm going to present on the innovation and yeah. design. Yeah, am, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So my presentation outlines are. Uh, Definition of the environmental sustainability, environmental impact, innovation and definition for the innovation and uh, inventions, design th thinking approach, biomimicking bio thinking uh, to uh, 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 develop the eco innovations, bio inspired, bio -inspired innovation, inventions, example, and uh, finally conclusion. So, what is the sustainable development? The development that new, uh, meets the needs of the needs of the present society without compromising the future generation ability to meet their own needs. Sustainable development aims to meet the, our needs by eradicating the poverty and climate change and other factors affecting the country's economy. So, major uh, key challenges are environment challenges are climate climate emergency and by controlling okay. the greenhouse gases and also waste of the natural resources and also uncontrolled marine pollution contributing uh, from the new human activity and also the loss of the biodiversity. Hello, you. Human well-being is closely linked to the health of the environment. The environmental sustainability to conserve the natural resources and to develop the alternative methods or sources to reduce the pollution to the environment. Strategies for the sustainable environmental management is uh, including the sustainable industrialization means the process should be uh, uh, 
I mean, green apply adapted the, for the green technology without contributing the any pollutant to the environment and international cooperation to mitigate the pollution level and behavior uh, uh, human awareness about the impact of the pollution and uh, ecological restoration and also waste recycling and reuse process also uh, uh, leads to the environmental sustainability and waste water treatment uh, uh, effectively and uh, reuse of the water for the agriculture purpose and uh, use of the renewable energy and use of the green uh, green and public transport to to get, to get the uh, environmental That's sustainability good. and also other challenges this uh, sustainable ag agriculture uh, also you can use the smart technology uh, 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 smart agriculture by using the sensors and iot technology to maintain the uh, to get the sustainable agriculture and also using the solar energy and biofuels also is causing i mean uh, contributing for the environmental su sustainability so the biofuels are alternative fuels uh, 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 which is substituting for the conventional fuels and solar energy also is uh, uh, the uh, sustainable uh, uh, energy and the development of the industrial process uh, in which that uh, right process uh, should be adopted with that uh, uh, contrib uh, without contributing the impurities or uh, uh, toxicants to the environment and also environmental sustainability in buildings like a eco friendly building material using and a high performance uh, uh, windows i mean so good ventilation and energy saving smart home system this is where we can use the iot technology also or indoor uh, to monitor the indoor uh, uh, pollution uh, monitoring uh, and also there are many studies which contributing for the uh, uh, there are some most of the studies demonstrated that uh, indoor pollutants are causing a lot of the effect on uh, human health effects so like a pm 2.5 micron size particle when you when you use the lpc continuously it contribute a lot, a lot of the 2.5 uh, uh, particle size 2.5 uh, uh, micrometer micron size particles are contributing into the indoor pollutants indoor atmosphere so if you have the high ot technology uh, to sense the pm25 and also the oxides of nitrogen and uh, uh, sox sulfur dioxide you can monitor using the sensors and uh, uh, using the iot technology and that can be alert to the people uh, i mean human uh, to avoid the uh, health effects that is also one one uh, environmental sustainability and also building material suitable uh, correct uh, suitable material uh, can be used for the construction some of the material which can emit the more radiations or radioactive uh, element uh, radiations also can be contributing to the indoor pollution <coughs> sorry <coughs> and also the agriculture uh, uh, smart agriculture uh, also is important uh, uh, to get the environmental sustainability so adequate no quantity of the pesticides should be used uh, for the agriculture practice so over uses of fertilizers and other thing it causing for the eutrophication uh, to, uh, and also other environmental impact because of the human intervention uh, industrial and uh, agriculture activity uh, in, uh, are contributing the uh, effect on the environment but uh, these are the challenges as i mentioned earlier Cam climate changes uh, also is a major problem present facing throughout the world uh, to uh, we, one has to be addressed by following the some inventions eco invention uh, methodologies which can which uh, avoid the which reduce the uh, greenhouse gases in the environment and the waste of the natural resources um, uh, to be addressed to avoid the uh, reasonable exploration of the natural resource, resources and uncontrolled marine pollution is also is a major problem particularly is the present the uh, microplastic is a and plastic as well as the microplastic is a major problem that uh, microplastic is less than uh, 10 uh, uh, micro, uh, nanometer size particles which is affecting the living organisms in the uh, uh, marine system ecosystem 
and but we have a good news in the world that mara um, in a technology development uh, the mal malaria and tu tuberculosis uh, deaths all can be uh, reduced and also the poverty line i mean uh, economically uh, comfortable uh, uh, for the public uh, and also the only the bad news that contributing to the environment uh, is that uh, affecting the environment is a uh, greenhouse gases emissions uh, deforestation and fisheries depletion and biodiversity loss or uh, uh, loss or accelerating these are the these are the things to be addressed and uh, measures to save the environment to, through the eco invention pollution control uh, through the in, uh, eco invention forest conser conser conservation social awareness waste management using the uh, green technology water management and implementation of the policy programs these are so what is the in innovation an innovation is the introduction of the newer and a better solution that meet the needs of the human and the new requir requirements of or existing market needs so an idea must be replicable at an economic cost and must satisfy the specific need example iphone tablet uh, uh, flat screen and tv so the innovation uh, uh, in, uh, involves the uh, what is the uh, process that you are using for the development the prototype uh, uh, device once the prototype device is uh, uh, invented and incrementally development has to be taken place that is the innovation and there are innovations are the different type evolutionary innovation revolutionary innovation evolutionary innovation innovations are is a, once the product is developed that continuously it is upgrading that is the process of the uh, evolutionary innovation revolutionary innovations are the that the in whatever you that product you design that is invented that will not be replica of the previously already invented so it is a new contribution to the science so example printing machine and printing press and ic engine that all contributing the uh, revolutionary innovation so as i mentioned that an in uh, in invention is a novel product device process and concept that does not exist before that is the invention example printing press and electricity and te telephone so these are the few example for the invention so which is the uh, first uh, 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 time introduced into the science so what is the design thinking approach that design thinking approach and ideology is a set that hands on user centric approach to problem solving can lead to the innovation and the innovation can be lead to the identity uh, differentiation and a competitive advantage so uh, design thinking first of all you should have the uh, empathize conduct the research to develop an uh, understanding of your user and define the problem uh, of the invention combine all the your research and observe where your users problem exist and ideate generate a range of the crazy and creative ideas here some can be by literature you get some good idea for designing uh, any prototype device and also some nature has uh, uh, given a lesson from the nature basic de designing uh, also be one option or, or the uh, uh, option to design any proto uh, mini prototype device so that means one has to be observe the nat nature closely and you will get a more ideas and solution for your uh, uh, problem which can solve the environmental pollution and all and once you design the prototype and uh, uh, device design that and it, it has to be evaluated uh, and finally implemented and uh, engineering design the process of design thinking inspired by bio mimicking bio mimicking so the, as i mentioned that uh, uh, example i i there i i'm going to give more examples relating to the uh, uh, nature based uh, inventions or eco inventions so one example uh, most of, uh, all of you are, are aware of it, that cv roman 
when he when he traveling to abroad uh, from I mean, to London uh, via uh, ship. So he observed the sky, why the sky is blue uh, uh, and water is blue, uh, sky is uh, uh, blue and water is also blue. So that observation made him to conduct the experiment. And now uh, what maybe about 10 uh, uh, branches relating to the spectroscopy, maybe medical and uh, uh, analysis of the uh, uh, analytical compounds, all can be Analy uh, 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 using all technology, all um, uh, areas can be applied by the spectroscopy principle. So here point we should uh, understand is that, so we we observe the nature and surrounding. So there is a good, uh, there is a good lessons or good ideas we can get, get from the nature. So, so here engineering design, the process design thinking inspired by mimicking, biomimicking. So engineering design process diagram uh, this provided by NASA as a source of educated teaching, engineering design, how biomimicry concept can be integrated. So, uh, that is explained based on that. First, uh, we have to be identify the problem, identify the criteria and uh, constraints and uh, uh, brainstorm uh, possible uh, solutions and generate the idea and explore the possibility select an approach and build a model prototype and uh, refine it and uh, use for the application and and, uh, and introduce it into the market. So as I mentioned that uh, empath empath uh, empathize and define and idea, idea it as I told you it is from the nature. Some of the ideas you can be get from the nature. So that uh, lead to the development of the prototype for device. I'm going to give some example in a moment, coming slides. So what is the design thinking approach? Design thinking approach is solving the problem for the human and how, how it is being used to build a framework called biomimicking thinking, which guides the process of nature inspired innovations. Uh, one example I mentioned here, the merger of the design thinking and biomimicking means Madam, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, network. Yeah, sorry for that. Participants, please hold on. There is some network issue from the host speaker side. Yeah, uh, I'm audible now. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Yes, because... sir. Yes, sir. So. Uh, let me continue uh, the 
yeah uh, design thinking approach solving the problem for a human and how it is being to build a framework called sir your ppt is not seen sir oh okay okay could you please confirm my slides are visible not yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. keep you. it in Sorry. slide show sir yeah yeah yes so uh, just i am trying to give some example of uh, biomaking thinking uh, for the environmental sustainability and design thinking approach to solve the uh, problems for the human and how it is being used to build a framework called biomaking thinking which guides the process of nature in inspired innovations excuse me so, sir ah yes yes so can you make your uh, ppt in a uh, slide show mode right ah okay yeah i have done it is it okay now is okay yeah yeah yes sir yeah yeah so sorry again design thinking approach solving the problems for a human for humans and how is being used to build a framework called biomaking biomaking thinking and which guideline the process of nature in inspired innovation so one example here now the merger of the design thinking and bio mimicking now hope you understood that when you want to design any device uh, as i mentioned that nature is uh, one of the teacher so you can learn some of the process already existing in the nature that is uh, is the idea or the origin for you to develop any invention or prototype device which is a great contribution for the science and example the people who contributed uh, uh, for the development of the photovoltaic cell he observed from the uh, butterfly surface Uh, uh that morphology of that uh, uh wings so the structure of the uh, uh, the butterfly wing so same uh, that uh, proto pro I mean, proto we kites uh, structure of nano material structure they synthesize similar type of the material synthesize and that enhance the more uh, the light ab absorption so so this is one of the invention that uh, butterfly Uh, wings uh, pattern uh, 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 is contributing to development of the photovoltaic uh, applications that is the thing so another example uh, is for the bio mimicking to design uh, 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 is that the bullet bullet train in japan so this word uh, contributing for uh, to development of the bullet trains so earlier it is a So when it is a uh, this earlier they initially they designed the train which travel through the tunnel because it create 180 km per hour it create a lot of uh, no sound because of that it affect the uh, tunnel walls and also uh, other uh, components and based on uh, the after that further they in, uh, invented uh, they change the engine uh, front portion in the this this format so that will not affect any uh, the uh, the tunnels and that so this is one of the examples these two example one i mean few example to learn from the nature for the invention so biomic mimic is a practice that learns from learn from and mimics the strategies found in the nature to solve human design challenges and find a hope uh, for the better environmental uh, sustainability for all the challenges we face nature has a solution that's what we have 
mentioned earlier. So biomimicking offers an uh, empathetic, interconnected understanding how life works and ultimately where we fit in that. So there are many solutions in the nature. So you can observe that and you can think that where, where that has to be applied, where it's suitable to uh, use in that, which context we have to use that, that concept. That is one, one point of that. So similarly, as the students are also here in this uh, group, so when you are listening uh, from, uh, from the lecture uh, teacher in the class, so when you learn the concept, you, can, you should start thinking where that concept can be applied to develop a prototype all that. So similar things here can be applied. So echo innovation. Echo innovation is the development of the products and process that contribute to the sustainable development applying the commercial application of knowledge to elicit the direct and indirect ecological improvement. And when you develop the product, it has to be commercial value and also it has to be uh, a low uh, commercial value and a lower cost for the designing and also it has to be used to use for the uh, 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 eliminating the impurities in the environment for example the water purification if you want to design the some prototype device water purifier for example uh, that when you design that water pure what methodology you, are, you have used it uh, for the removal of the pollutants for example the uh, uh, so there are different biomembranes also available to, re to filter the ions, uh, excess uh, ions, calcium, magnesium, using that bio uh, membranes. And also there is a, uh, I'm going to give some more example. To, to substitute the bio membrane, there is a, uh, there is a specific structure like a honeycomb structured polymer, if you use uh, for the eliminating or filter the impurities. Same mechanism, whatever the membrane that you are doing in a water purifier, you, you, you can, you can use, you can use the honeycomb uh, membrane for the water desaltation of the water. And the echo efficiency as a effective, effectiveness with which ecological resources are used to meet the human needs and less environmental impact per unit of product or service rules. Echo efficiency is a product or service and the value and uh, environmental impact. impact. Environment impacts impact should be very, very less uh, uh, from the invention that you have made. So strategy to improve the uh, echo efficiency, reduce the material intensity, reduce the energy intensity, reduce the dispersion of the toxic substance, enhance the recycl uh, recyclability, maximum use of renewable, extend product durability, increasing the service, service intensity. And these are the goals for the sustainability. So this was uh, World Convention on the Environment Sustainability. They fixed the target by 2000, uh, 2050, what measures to be taken throughout, uh, I mean, countries in the world. And in the eco industry means a process should be, uh, 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 so ad adequate, suitable process should be introduced to avoid the uh, impurities or con uh, impurities into environment. Eco industry, solid waste management, waste treatment, air pollution control method, remediations and cleanup technology, uh, water supply management, recycled material, renewable energy, nature protection, all these should be uh, adopted by the uh, eco industry. And benefits of eco innovation, direct benefit, cost saving, uh, commercialization, indirect benefit, better image, uh, better relation with the suppliers, customer, this all will be is uh, in, involved with the uh, so socio-economic uh, aspects and the development of the uh, economic uh, eco invention first the modification pollution control cleaner production eco efficiency life cycle cycle thinking closed loop production and industrial ecology this all uh, uh, is the steps uh, through the design the uh, any prototype device which relating to the eco innovation mechanism now, I would like to give the some of the examples which are uh, bio-inspired based inventions. So one example is the, so far we have discussed about the, uh, what is environmental sustainability, what is the invention, uh, uh, invention and what is the biomimicking process that all, uh, definition that all we, we, are, uh, we are aware of it now. So 
by uh, now i am going to give the some example bio inspired invention so which one example is the artificial protosynthesis for the environmental sustainability environmental sustainability environmental sustainability a green technology or green technology uh, uh, the co2 ah. co2 converting to the uh, a, a resource or useful product you know this uh, uh, technology is originated from the so my slides are uh, uh, ah. yes sir slides yes sir are useful. yeah uh, the dream technology converting the co2 into a resources artificial photosynthesis is a process for reducing the greenhouse gases like a co2 co2 so the originating uh, uh, the, the idea is uh, uh, is from the natural environment photosynthetic process from that that idea they introduce the artificial photosynthetic synthesis process to reduce the co2 in the environment so using the some uh, uh, the catalyst photo catalyst and in presence of the photo catalyst co2 can be uh, uh, converted into the uh, 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 converted into the uh, useful products and the sustainable look, sustainable photo catalytic disinfection of the uh, four representative pathogen bacteria isolated uh, from the real water environment by immobilized titanium oxide based composite and its mechanism uh, uh, i may I request you some of you confirm the slides are change, uh, visible or changing yes sir visible sir you can oh. go ahead yeah so a uh, sustainable photocatalytic disinfection of the four representative pathogenic bacteria isolated from the real water environment by immobilizing the titanium oxide based composites and its mechanism so here the uh, bacteria will be uh, degrade the organic compounds which are considered as a toxic and into uh, toxic compounds particularly pesticides and converted into non toxic non toxic compound and you, you in presence of the bacteria and also the sunlight and also catalyze catalyst so this is also the uh, uh, the idea is from the nature only Foot, and also the based on this one photocatalytic reactor for the water purification same mechanism that we observed from the nature has uh, applied uh, for the uh, water purifying uh, device designing purpose so one is the photocatalytic reactor in the photocatalytic reactor if you take the water and also the polymer is uh, uh, coated at the surface yes, of sir. the ah, yeah, ma'am yeah, ma sir yes slides are visible but still it's on strategies to improve eco efficiency oh, okay uh, i will uh, stop sharing and i will again do that sorry yeah okay sure yeah Sorry, give me one moment. Okay, sir. Yeah, no slides are visible. Not yet, sir. Not yet, sir. 
Sir. Yes, uh, sorry from my end, there is, there is some internet issue. Yeah, now my slides are visible now. Could you please confirm kindly? Sir? Uh, sorry, now it's visible, it's moving. Sir, you are on mute, sir.
Sir, can you hear us? Yes. Am I audible now? Am I audible now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. So sorry. Uh, yes, uh, one of the uh, good uh, contribution uh, of, by the one of the group in Europe. So e-waste is a uh, is a major problem, uh, and uh, they introduce the uh, the biodegradable uh, PCB, and which which uh, uh, use for the electronic industry. Uh, and once that material uh, lifetime I mean uh, expired. That uh, whatever the metal that used in the printed circuit board, it can be easily extractable. So uh, that material that uh, the uh, biodegradable polymer that can be extracted from the uh, mycelioelectronics uh, is one of the uh, source for the uh, biodegradable polymer that can be used for the printed circuit board. So this is a good in, uh, uh, contribution to the uh, uh, environmental sustainability. And also another uh, biodegradable cutting board. Uh, this also be, uh, I mean, uh, if you use the uh, actually synthetic uh, board, which contributed a lot of the toxic chemicals, and they uh, they use the uh, uh, biopolymer uh, to make the uh, cutting board. And also another uh, uh, environmental sustainable uh, uh, eco invention is that. Uh, uh, waste to useful products and energy so one is the photo reforming of the plastic one of the good in invention and from the plastic to uh, waste uh, that is a waste that contributing to the hydrogen production plus the uh, hydrogen production and uh, useful compounds also can be generated so the plastic can be degraded in presence of the catalyst and uh, alkali in presence of the sunlight, sunlight, the um, plastic will be fragmented. And during that uh, degradation process of plastic in presence of catalyst, uh, polymer, and the sunlight, so hydrogen production is uh, is taking place. So that can be uh, that hydrogen can be connected to the fuel cell. It can be uh, is one of the energy source. At the same time, the plastic can be reduced. And another uh, good in invention is that. Uh, recently, most of you are aware of it. Jacket, jacket made of the recycled plastic. So that was uh, the prime minister was being gifted by the one of the company. Uh, they introduced the, uh, the, uh, the technology. Plastic uh, can be made into a, uh, as a uh, the uh, threads, uh, uh, cotton like a cotton threads, and make into a, uh, make it made it as a jacket. So that is also a good contribution. And uh, recycled, some of the some group are introduced. The plastic can be using for the resurfacing the roads. And also, some of the group in uh, uh, South Africa, uh, they have a startup company that plastic can be made them to like a bricks and use for the construction. And also, some of the group in India from the NGO company from Kerala, they convert the plastic waste to uh, 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 like a bags and all. So this is a this are, we have to be appreciate and, you know, and their invention which contributed for the environmental sustainability. And another uh, example is that photo electrolytic cell uh, for uh, for the production of the uh, the energy so, uh, that energy useful for the uh, household applications. And here using the uh, Different types of the uh, metal, uh, the nano material P type and N type, uh, and using the sunlight, and we can produce the uh, hydrogen uh, alternative fuels. Nowadays, uh, the government is also encouraging the people to uh, green fuel to produce the hydrogen using the photocatalytic process. And also, another fungi and bacteria clean the environmental pollution. Uh, this also we learned from the uh, nature. Human invent, in, innovators are translated into uh, design. Fungi, fungi, fungi have a unique prop, prop, uh, pros, propensity for the breaking down the chemical pollutant, including oil and pesticide, and extracting binding 
or the binding of heavy metals even the radiations so these are the some of the enzymes uh, or the bacteria which can be degraded into non toxic like a pesticides and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons all that is also we learn from the nature nature only for the sustainable development so waste water electricity generator based on the uh, the lesson uh, understanding from the nature the biological fuel uh, uh, cell can be introduced in that in a, in a in a electrochemical cell electrochemical cell we have a two electrodes and uh, and one electrode is acting as an anode and another is acting as a cathode at anode oxidation is taking place at the cathode reduction is taking place so in the at the anode ox electrons are generated that electrons are moving from anode to the cathode and uh, uh, current will be flow from opposite direction so here as you know that this mechanism and we need to have the mechanism where the electrons should be generated electron should be contributed from the one electron so it, it, the sub to replacing the anode metal electrode in the electrolyte the electrode is immersed into that electrolyte it may be a uh, domestic waste uh, uh, or sewage waste domestic waste means it is sewage uh, uh, that liquid waste and in that bacteria will be present and also in, ad in addition to that organic compounds also present so that uh, in presence of bacteria the organ compounds in that uh, liquid waste is oxidized and uh, it releases the electron so that that electrons will be flow from the anode to the cathode same mechanism uh, that we observed in the electrochemical cell so this is one of the good contribution uh, for the environmental sustainability you can uh, this can be adopted for the uh, sewage treatment plant uh, 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 process to produce the energy as well as the treatment of the organic compounds in that wastewater so you can reduce the cod level and another same mechanism the digestion process most of you all all our students are aware of this biological fuel cell uh, digestion process so here in the here it happens the aerobic and the anaerobic process that are same mechanism organic compounds will be uh, oxidized in presence of the oxidizing agent and the bacteria same electrons will be generated and uh, that flow from anode to the cathode so potential difference will arise between the anode electrode and the cathode electrode power will be generated so he, this is also one technology uh, for the hydrogen pr production that will be using uh, for the uh, uh, household application or industrial application and uh, uh, one more uh, uh, contribution from the one of the group is that which is which is for the purpose of the environmental uh, uh, sustainability so it is based on the electrochemistry it is based on the electrochemical principle electro electrochemistry principle they have used the two two electrodes one is anode and the cathode and the two electrodes are immersed into the electrolyte and the at one electrode oxidation and other cathode reduction is taking place that country this is the reaction at the anode and cathode will be the at the anode chlorine is generated and a cathode hydrogen is evolution is taking place finally it in the solution it form it forms the hypochlorous acid it forms the hypochlorous acid so this is a good contribution uh, this hypochlorous as you all aware of it hypochlorous acid is acting as a uh, anti microbial activity so it can be used for the floor cleaners some of the uh, anti microbial floor cleaners are available in the market it may be a synthetic uh, compound but uh, it may not be a bio biologically degradable compound so this is one uh, good contribution uh, for the environmental sustainability and this hypochlorous acid also has a um, uh, uh, pe uh, pesticide property so it can be some of the studies in kerala also they contribute uh, they use the hypochlorous acid that uh, they produced using this mechanism they use as a uh, pesticide salt so and one more uh, invention that environment please remind uh, on uh, request please remind me if the uh, time is uh, time up uh, can i how much time i can i have um, could you please tell me yes sir no problem 
okay thank no you so much and the students should not get boring uh, so the and one more uh, good contribution is the electrocoagulation if the can student can be plan this project very easily and with uh, existing facilities in your lab in your department in college and here the you know that the water is contaminated with the suspended particulate matter so what we are using is that filtration method we are using membrane filter membrane technology so membrane has a specific uh, capacity after few liters of <coughs> after sorry so after few liters of uh, uh, filtration that uh, efficiency of the filter will be reduced so uh, again there is a chances of the uh, accumulation of the that membrane uh, some bacteria bacterial film also can be uh, uh, grow in that, uh, uh, will be formed so that is again another problem for the water contamination water quality deterioration so in that case you using the electrochemical principle as we have discussed earlier so here two electrodes are there one electrode is taking a, a, say example iron or the aluminum that is a anode and the other electrode is like a inert electrode like a platinum and completely connected to the battery external energy sources external energy sources external energy sources and and those two electrodes are immersed into the water containing the dust particle suspended particulate matter when you provide the when you create the potential difference between the two electrodes the the at anode oxidation is taking place that metal iron and it produce the uh, fe2 plus and 2e and uh, at the cathode electrode the reaction will be uh, uh, water will be uh, dissociated h plus and uh, oh minus ion so this oh minus ions and the iron uh, two plus ion will be form a ironoid hydroxide uh, ferrous hydroxide so this ferrous hydroxide is having a uh, the charge and that will be attracted the dust particle in the suspended particle in the water so it is like a uh, alum ferrous aluminum uh, sulfate you are using those days uh, golden days nowadays nobody using that for the removal of the suspended particulate matter a similar mechanism here can apply so it will not earlier uh, alum can be added to remove the, in the water drinking water to eliminate the suspended particulate matter but aluminum itself and iron itself is a, again another contaminant but that should not be here in this case so here the charge what we are doing that we are creating the charge on the uh, uh, particles uh, suspended particle in the water and that will be attracted uh, that is uh, van der waals or the uh, ion uh, 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 what call ionic interaction that a ferrous hydroxide that formed through this electrochemical reaction and the particles have also attain the charge and it will be form a coagulation and finally it will be settled down so this is one of the i mean go, uh, one technology one can be explored further to develop a more, i mean to give a more efficiency so this is electrocoagulation in uh, that can be apply for the uh, wastewater treatment or the drinking water treatment. so another uh, 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 idea this all available what i am talking that is all available in the uh, the nature that idea is all so vortex water revitalizer vortex technology is used for the water treatment water treatment so uh, this is vortex is a portion of fluid rotating about the axis line and uh, it is similar to the hurricanes and uh, whirlpools this all happening so this technology can be applied for the uh, water purification so uh, uh, when the th this is the diagram i can uh, enlarge this so uh, when the spiraling uh, 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 vortexing like this the water will be spiral there is a chances of the uh, separate the particles that everybody you know in biological centrifuges the same principle but in this case if you make the uh, the channel like this li like this like vortex vortexing so when you flow the water through this uh, uh, device yeah this this is like this yeah this device and water will be vortexing in that component so when the water is component with the force uh, and the, the, that uh, water will be water containing the bacteria which hit the uh, surface of uh, i mean uh, inside walls of the this tube and the cell walls will be will be affected so bacteria will be killed also so without any even uv light also even there is a there is a chances of we are we are always thinking that uv light is for the uh, 
removal of the bacteria if you in a water treatment so if you over use of the, i mean high, higher uh, voltage higher uh, uh, what you call the voltage I mean capacity of the light used uh, so in a water bacteria will be kill because of the uv light but there is a some compounds like, for example uh, pharmaceutical compound or pesticides or uh, pharmaceutical and personal care products or pesticide in the water that cannot so that can't be completely eliminated by using water purifier that we have already so uv light will be affect the these compounds so when the uv light is uh, 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 energy is provided uh, for the uh, uh, pollutants in the water and it will be degraded into the other compound which may be more toxic so this is a parent compound a and because of the uv light this will be re, uh, re, uh, uh, affected and it will be degraded and a plus b two molecules will be formed fragmented this we don't no studies much uh, uh, demonstrated that uh, this degree fragmented compound is more toxic or not so this is uh, another problem so this type what i want to tell here is that this vortex technology can be one can be adapt work uh, uh, for, to test the efficiency of the removal of the bacteria so uh, and one more point this type of mechanism vortex vortexing uh, uh, mechanism can be applied by one of the company in bengaluru itself Uh, i think they got a good awards from the government also uh, uh, rainwater harvesting and all the uh, uh, in a terrace water is uh, collecting and passing through this one uh, uh, this tech, vortexing technology can be separate the uh, floating material like uh, leaves plant leaves and all that and uh, uh, pure water will be separated they the, the, they got a patent also one company i name i forgot it so natural filters for the water purification other invention and before telling that they, uh, most of you some of you might are aware of it the uh, in a river is flowing uh, river, river is uh, flowing through the canal and uh, old and days even some europe you know, presently also they are using and they will dig the uh, small wells or pits uh, and adjust into the uh, shore of the uh, river river the water will be percolate or seep into the that pit See, seep into that pit so here the uh, the river containing river water containing some uh, impurities when the percolate the uh, seep into the that well uh, or pit there will be a pure water so here what we understand that the uh, the soil is acting as a exchanger soil is acting as a exchanger so based on that natural material they some of the student young students kids they are used they got a uh, prize uh, community innovation award they received from the society uh, for their research uh, uh, for the treatment of the gray water using the natural material this is the thing so these all things are uh, again we should recollect again remember that this all will be available uh, originated from the nature only and in india also there is a Uh, pancha tatwa there is a I mean, startup company they also came up with a, a good uh, water purifier where that can, uh, natural material is used for the water purification and uh, again this also most of you all aware of this the a sustainable way to manage the waste water basic of the constructed wet, wetland artificial uh, wetland can be constructed and where where the wa water will be again same thing uh, whatever we have discussed earlier uh, in presence of uh, bacteria bacteria and uh, the oxygen and also the organic compounds organic compounds will be degraded in this condition so this is also one of the mechanism uh, to manage uh, to manage the waste water which is con contributing for the sustainable development so sim when you uh, when you degrading uh, the, the organic compound present in the water organic compounds are the combination of the uh, the inorganic and organic organic uh, like uh, phenols and all that aliphatic hydrocarbons all that so once it is contributed it converted into the uh, co2 and h2o so resulting that cod in a water will be reducing so this is a digestion process simply so artificially created this and again another thing plant leaves inspired sunlight driven purifier water uh, based on the Uh, surface uh, property of that uh, leaf so uh, the, the what is the structure that observed in the leaf they synthesize the same type of molecule uh, in nano material and uh, they use for the water purification so the what here the point is that the 
uh, the surface property of the leaf is the origin for the nano uh, nano material scientists to uh, to uh, synthesize the material for the purification of the water or desalting of the water. so this is the uh, uh, the structure of the nano material synthesis so this is the similar to the leaf that they observed from the uh, uh, I mean, the nature itself it can be used for the purification. Similarly, bio-inspired material or uh, synthetic material whose structure and properties are the function mimic those of natural material or living material. Yeah, here, one more point I, I want to tell you. Here, the honeycomb structure, I told you, honeycomb structure can be utilized for the uh, purification of the uh, desalination of the salt water. So it is a replacement of the uh, uh, honeycomb. Is a honeycomb structure is a benzene structure similar to that. So similar technology can be applied for the uh, 3D printing. 3D printing of 3D printing of the honeycomb polymer uh, like a PLA. You can make it uh, use for as a filter uh, to remove the desalt. Uh, for the des uh, remove the salt means desaltation only. So you, whatever the membrane. Uh, 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 giving the application, same thing can be uh, uh, I mean, provided by the uh, these honeycomb filters, membrane, uh, polymer filters. So there is no formation of the bacteria also. So that is another. There are a, a few uh, examples are bio-inspired engineering structure, uh, uh, like uh, uh, super hydrophobic material that uh, using that uh, mechanism, oil filtration membranes can be isolated, lutus effect, uh, like a hydrophobic uh, uh, interaction that all will be inspired from the nature only and also there is a uh, uh, there is a what you call the self cleaning material self cleaning material cloths can be made uh, based on the uh, this lotus effect only now it, uh, dust will dust also will be repelled and uh, water also will not be at, uh, uh, it is a hydrophobic nature so that material is uh, uh, introduced uh, 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 by observing the nature only. So another 10 minutes I would like to take, sorry. One second slide is not. Ah. So yeah, bio-inspired polymer based on the photo catalyst. Now you know how uh, there is a technology, green technology, nanomaterial synthesis uh, by using the uh, plant extracts and all that that is relating to the uh, bio-based material synthesis uh, using green technology so, so that what catalyst can be used as a, the synthesized nanomaterial nanoparticles can be used as a uh, water treatment purpose so uh, one more one slide i have that i would like to some slides i have skipped and uh, i would like to uh, add one point here specifically Maybe EC department students also might be there. IoT technology in a uh, sustainable, sustainable uh, agriculture. And uh, here that uh, uh, there are sensors uh, for the detecting the uh, soil nutrient NPK and also the moist water uh, and the temperature and uh, electrical conductivity of the again same problem. Some slides are mo not moving, but sorry. Uh, yeah, am I audible now? Yes. But slide is sir, not, you are sir, yes, sir. slide is not changing. Uh, can you if you because I like to uh, share sir, it these. Is in the this slide, uh, plant leaves inspired sunlight drive. Huh. That so slide other is. next slide is interesting for me also. Maybe students also maybe I want to uh, technology based. Uh, like give me a half minute. Can I again re? Uh, I mean stop sharing and I will do it. Okay now. Yes, sir. Sure, sure. Sorry, sorry. Excuse me. All of you, please excuse me. Students also. Mm -hmm. uh, no issue, sir.
Sir? Sir, can you hear us? You, but uh, yeah, but I I am not using the tab right now. I am directly using the okay. laptop. But the, uh, when I am trying to share the, but it's not activating. They are not giving permission. Uh, now my slides are, uh, slides are visible you no know? no sir we need a permission to share your screen go to security one minute sir i will make you yeah, yeah. which ID you have joined us sir only laptop screen was rough amar nene it's showing security, yeah. security privacy screen recording permission or some message. Key. Dr. Srinivasrao or Srinivasrao? Dr. Srinivasrao. I think two doctors are there, sir, but only yeah. one is visible for us. Ah, they are told, I think. Yeah, I have made you as a press only one day. Ah. Ah. Now, is it visible, madam? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sorry, very, very sorry. Only, I, I need only 10 minutes for the completing. Yeah, I would like to, IoT technology, sustainable agriculture and environment. IoT in agriculture use uh, uh, robots and drones, remote sensors and uh, computer imaging combined with the continuously progressing machine learning and analytical tool. So uh, IoT technology is uh, one of the tool uh, for the sustainable agriculture where you can determine, uh, detect the uh, uh, soil quality and even the water quality using sensors and that will be connected into the Arduino board and uh, uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, finally Microcontrollers and IoT uh, cloud computing and the data data will be uh, interpreted by you using the uh, GIS software uh, 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 that can be integrated. So you can uh, assess the fertilizer level in the water and the moisture uh, in the soil and as well as the uh, you know, fertilizer uh, uh, moisture as well as the fertilizers nitrogen phosphate in which part of the soil is very less that all can be detected by using the IoT technology. So farmer can be uh, 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 adequate to usage of the water as well as the fertilizer also. Here one point I want to highlight here is that if you uh, if the IoT integrated IoT technology with the geographical information system using this protocol, this uh, uh, pH sensors, electrical conductivity, NPK, and the uh, uh, that uh, Raspberry Pi and all that. And uh, that you integrate it with the GAS uh, uh, platform. So some of the platforms are uh, commercial and as well as the open source like a quantum GI. So when you connect first to the IoT technology, detect the soil quality, for example, electrical conductivity or pH, and that will be uh, 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 int uh, int uh, integrated with the GAS uh, dashboard. And you can get the uh, overlaying map. So when you collect the, water, uh, the data from the selected points using the sensors, 10 sensors are there in 100 acres of the land, or, uh, and that is the ground data. But GA software, it create the layers, extrapolate the data after ge geocoding and all that, uh, the, the 
cut layers with the different colors. So it representing the whole area. So that is the advantage of the GIS integrating with the IoT technology. So this technology will be helpful for the uh, sustainable agriculture, uh, also uh, uh, sustainable environment. So uh, the controlling authority can be take a decision immediately. So here I want to tell you that integrating IoT technology with the GIS is a uh, uh, promising uh, uh, tech, um, uh, method to for the sustainable agriculture as well as the sustainable uh, water ecosystem. So that is the point I want to tell you. So similarly, water also, uh, when you keep the, uh, there are some sensors, um, uh, there are some sensors, which optical sensors, the evening on one more uh, 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 um, I mean, resource person going to be discuss that. Uh, using optical sensors also can be fixed on the, like remote sensing, fix on the uh, drone, you can monitor the water quality and the even solid quality also. But the only the challenging is that uh, cost of the, uh, that uh, optical sensors. So uh, these all the biosensors again, and uh, only one point I would like to tell you that so biosensors can be uh, electrochemical sensor, uh, biosensor, uh, for example, if you know the uh, proteins are the DNA, if you engineer that particular small peptide of the protein, where the uh, phosphates are uh, more interactive at a specific uh, binding site. So if you synthesize that uh, uh, small peptide, you that can be used for the uh, development of the, or designing of the sensors. That is a biosensors. So that is also one uh, invention uh, to test, to design the biosensor. So, yeah, there are many other bio-inspired uh, uh, inventions like a, uh, uh, the uh, a stick, a glue stick, uh, a tape that all can be introduced or originated from the lizard. This is also one example for the uh, the nature. So nature-based invention, wind turbines also inspired from the, uh, uh, the uh, from the bales, nature only. And the robot, uh, this also uh, inspired by the swarm intelligence uh, uh, that can be developed for the uh, space aircraft and also used for the nanobots for the drug delivery. So the, again, I told you self-cleaning uh, uh, cloths can be made based on the uh, this uh, 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 this leap and the nanotechnology scientists can be uh, used to these chemicals the same mechanism, same property of this leaf and they can be that lot lotus uh, surface how it is there they synthesize with the nano material and that uh, uh, used as a self cleaning cloth so that means they are mimicking the nature concept in the uh, technology in synthesis of the material so again this also is one of the uh, aquaporin uh, technology uh, for the water purification uh, uh, that is also a good contribution uh, for the uh, environmental sustainability. So lastly, uh, the nature-based invention herbal uh, defluoridation. This is the plant which is going to contribute for the herbal uh, defluoridation purpose. Fluorine can be removed based on the uh, using this uh, uh, material, uh, plant material. So conclusion is that uh, we are facing the uh, facing in a creating a pressure of the energy uh, shortage and water contamination food shortage and uh, uh, the uh, other chemical contaminant and nature has already figured out how to avoid this problem uh, so that means biomimicking uh, 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 is one of the idea uh, to develop any prototype device so keep observe the uh, therefore, keep the observe that nature as a teacher or role model. Use nature design principle to inspire and innovate. To keep your eyes, ears, and heart open. Observe, and observe, observe, and learn to adopt the new technology. So these are the resources which I got. Some paper, this material which I took it from the uh, these references and also internet. And finally, I would like to say thank to you all. So. Now concluding my presentation. So any questions I can, oh, I, first of all, uh, uh, before uh, uh, ask some questions, I apologize uh, for the inconvenience caused uh, because of the internet issues. Sorry for that. And uh, thanks for your patience, Lisa. And uh, yeah, any questions?
Am I audible? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure. Uh, sir, students will post the questions. Uh, students, if you have any questions, you can put it in the post it in the chat box. Sir, uh, we will get back to you with the questions, sir. Okay. okay. Ah, okay. Thank you. Uh, sir, on behalf okay. of uh, the uh, management, principal, staff, and students of the Department of Biotechnology and uh, uh, ECE, Electronics and Communication Engineering, I express my heartfelt gratitude for. Uh, giving such a wonderful lecture sir thank you once again sir on behalf of all of us okay thank you so much thank you thank, thank you, you student thank, thank you so much thank you so much sir